Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Brandon with Stampede Realty, Real Estate Brokers of Alaska. And we are going to get back into this book. I know I said I may do a one on New Year's. I didn't get around to it. Uh, today is the third. So let's go ahead and let's see. What is the third? I was going to say let's just do the second. But think about your listing goals. What are two ideas you've had that you can try again to help you reach that goal? Okay. Actually, what's number two? Create a plan for the important things. Think about your listings goals. What are two ideas you've had that you can try again to help you reach your goal? reach that goal okay now oh man I'm way off <laughs> sorry in person presentations now we've all kind of moved to the zoom we've all kind of moved to just uh, pre-recorded video but one thing is sometimes you gotta just go meet in person as a matter of fact i'm on the way to go meet somebody in person now so sometimes it's that face to face that really helps you out because then when you face to face they can see you're not reading from a script you're not memorizing anything you now have to really turn it on in person uh listing packages now this is gonna sound really weird but a good friend of mine from she was an agent in Kansas City she said that some agents had like different kind of packages like this is what you get for this much commission or you know this much like I don't know how that really works, but I know she was talking about like billboards for the property. I'm like, <laughs> uh, not for the, some of the prices that some of these uh, land goes for, but that could be a good idea depending on where the land is. If it's somewhere in the middle of nowhere, some things you don't want to do. But in other places like directly in Kenai or in Sadatna or in Anchorage, yeah, you could. I can kind of see those things happening. Think about your listing goals. This is one I've I've thought about. Now, when I when you sign a buyer broker agreement with me, and then you buy the land through me you will usually get 15% off your plans. I have thought about if the if the land is over a certain price, go ahead and throw those plans in from the house designers or plan collection. You know, those are the two I work with. Uh, actually also America's best home plans, America best house plans. That could be a good one as well. So it all just depends on what the price of it is. That could also go with the listing packages, but we'll come back to that one. Think about your listing goals. What are two ideas? Well, I guess I've already done two. You've had that you can try again to help you reach that goal. Hmm. I already do this one, but I didn't go after the second one. Going after expired and canceled. Once it expires, you are free to go about it. You're go about that listing any way you want to, whether you want to call them, whether you want to send, do it like I do, send them a card. But I never went after canceled because you don't know why it canceled. 
and some now I don't go out to withdraw because withdrawing means there's still some business between the seller and the broker but cancel means you can go after them just like you go after expired I never went after them because I kind of always felt like eh, they may go back to that brokerage for help but at this point I can go after cancel now withdraw and stay away from until you see in the cancel all right guys they said two I gave you four <laughs> happy new year everybody